Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to create this masonry layout gallery from scratch using HTML and CSS. And we also used a library for uh, the light box. So if I click on any of these images, we can see we have this light box. So we have created all of this from scratch in one of my previous videos. I will leave the link of the video in the description. And I'll also leave the link of the source code. Now in this video, I'll show you how to make this uh, masonry layout gallery responsive. Right now it is not responsive. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And let's click on this button called toggle device toolbar. And uh, here we can see that uh, we have this uh, three column layout. And if we decrease the size of the window, we can see that it decreases the whole image size overall. So when we have the size of mobile phone we can see that this is how it will look so we don't want this to happen so when we are on a screen with a lower width we want to have less columns so we want to have for example if we are around 500 pixels then uh, we need to have two columns over here we don't need to have three columns and when we have the size of a mobile phone then uh, we can probably have just one image per row so we'll just have one column layout so this is what we're going to do in this video so let's get started here's the source code of our project so let's go to style.css and uh, let's start writing the code for uh, the responsive design so we'll be using media queries for that so let's type at media and uh, here in parenthesis we will type max width now we have to think of how much width we should have before some changes should happen to the design so let me just maximize this and uh, let's see what are the breakpoints we need for the width so here the width is 879 let's bring the width down a little bit and I think when we are less than 800 pixels in width we will set the width of the gallery container to 90% and when we are less than 600 pixels so around here we will have just two columns so we'll change this three column layout to a two column layout and when we are less than 500 pixels for example uh, something like this then uh, we will have just one column so let's get started with the first breakpoint which is 800 pixels so here let's type 800 pixels and now whatever CSS you write inside this block will be applied to the page when the page is less than 800 pixels. So let's target the gallery container and here we can see for the gallery container we have a width of 700 pixels. So here we will type gallery container and we'll set a width of 90%. So when we are less than 800 pixels uh, the total width of the gallery container will be 90%. So here we can see we have a width of 90%. Now when we are less than 600 pixels, we want to have just two columns. So here, let's copy this and paste it over here. And here instead of 800 pixels, we'll just type 600 pixels. And I'll just remove this width from here. And uh, here I will just type column count and we'll set it to two. Now we can see when we are less than 600 pixels, we have two columns. And when we are more than 600 pixels, we have three columns. Now when we are less than 500 pixels, uh, we will have just one column. So let's add the code. I'll just copy this and paste it over here and here I'll just type 5. So when we are less than 500 pixels, we will just unset the column count. So I'll just type unset over here. And now here you can see when we are less than 500 pixels, we just have one column. And when we are more than 500 pixels and less than 600 pixels, we have two columns. And uh, when we are above 600 pixels, we have three columns. Now we had added this uh, masonry layout gallery to one of our blogger posts. So let's open that. And here I'm in my blogger dashboard and this is our post. Let's open it. And here we can see the masonry gallery layout. But we don't have responsiveness for this. So if I right click over here and inspect. And uh, let's decrease the width of the screen. And we can see that it is not responsive. So let's add the CSS for responsiveness to our theme code. So let's go back 
and uh, let's go to theme and click on this arrow and click on edit HTML and uh, let's copy these lines of code from here and uh, we'll scroll down to the CSS right here we'll paste the CSS and uh, let's click on save and now let's go back to our post and uh, refresh this page and let's decrease the size of the window and we can see when we are less than 600 pixels we have two columns and when we are less than 500 pixels we have just one column so that's basically how you make this masonry layout gallery responsive so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day